My name is Luis Frota. I'm a social protection advisor at the uh, Decent Work team of specialists for uh, Southern and Eastern Africa at the International Labour Office based in Pretoria. And my job is to advise uh, governments on social protection policy and implementation. It's a very lively exchange of views and uh, uh, perspectives. Um, people are really put to, to, to contribute in situations where they can uh, tell their stories and uh, bring all their experience. So I'm, I'm very excited about uh, all the diversity of, um, of, uh, of, of content and knowledge. Um, and um, also, I think, has been structured in a way that you can really uh, systematize the knowledge um, in terms of, uh, you know, making a bit of consensus and making steps forward for a joint work. Also, the, the spirit of joint work and collaboration towards an end product. We try to structure in a logic way our contribution, so we effectively are working together. I was um, uh, surprised by the wealth of experience that uh, exists at the community level. Many organizations uh, develop um, very useful and uh, you know, uh, projects that address the needs of the, of the, of the populations. So um, I think that that became very clear. And there are interesting lessons uh, to, to, to be drawn. Uh, what I, I feel is uh, a bit of, there is no systematic learning from all these experiences. That's, that's, what, that's a pity in terms of uh, then being able to, uh, to draw these lessons for programs, for government programs, in a more systematic way, uh, and this is what you know I feel is a bit lacking. When you lo look at the experience in Asia, for example, you see, you know, social mobilization of informal uh, economy workers and so on, that really tries to interact with government to do better policies, whereas uh, in many countries in Africa, um, it's still policies are still you know, top-down and, and very inflexible uh, institutions apply them. Uh, and I think that's, that's the challenge that, that exists um, still. We can learn probably from Asia in many respects. I heard two words which for, for me is very, are very important. Uh, trust and legitimacy. The informal economy workers don't want to contribute to uh, funds managed by institutions that are not trustworthy, that they see are very distant. So how can we build that trust, that, 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 that uh, you know, bridge that distance? Uh, so we're talking about accountability, about uh, institutions being responsive um, and being adapted, because you can have bad management, but uh, the, the critical question is, how can, we, how can you correct your errors? How can you ensure that the wrongs are solved in, in a very speedy uh, way, that people, uh, if, if they're not receiving their benefits on time, uh, you know, their voices are heard and they can be corrected. Uh, so this kind of trust, legitimacy, uh, capacity building, also, I think, uh, for the moment you see a, a big idea is that you have in Africa cash transfers for the poor, even for the very extreme poor on one side, and then you have formal institutions covering people who are relatively wealthier. But there is a missing middle where people in the informal economy are not covered. So I think that we need to think uh, more in terms of uh, you know, entitlements to these, to these categories of people. Uh, you know, what, what new mechanisms can be thought to, to cover them? And I think the agency of people, mobilization of people, be they elderly or women uh, living in different vulnerable situations, can help governments to make better policies.